Welcome back to the channel. I actually have a really fantastic feature to share with you today. What you are looking at is the T9 Pro. This is a backup camera, front view camera, it's a dash cam, all built into your rear view mirror. Why would I even be sharing this with you and what's good about it? Well, um, if you own a Humvee or any sort of vehicle where your rear view is limited, and so what's happened in the Humvee, your back window is pretty much useless to begin with. Also, if you have a spare tire carrier on your Humvee, like I recently installed this last year, I completely lost my rear view view of anything. That's a pretty big deal, and I've been struggling with that. Now, I do have some cameras in the Humvee that help me when I am off-road and when I'm backing up. And I have a fairly large screen, I believe it's a seven inch screen that helps me out with that. The issue that I have is for regular ordinary driving where your eyeball normally looks at that rear view mirror, I can't see anything out of the back of this anymore. And by the way, there's a bonus and the bonus is this particular system also has a memory card in it, it records. And when I'm going off road and I'm taking you with me, I can share some things with you hands free that are difficult to do right now because I have to have you know, a camera operating in some other fashion. So I am super, super excited about this. And I think that you're going to find this thing is an incredible value. Pop it open, see what do we get in the box? This particular AutoVox T9 Pro comes with, you know, what looks like a pretty standard rear view mirror. Uh, it has the cleat system on the back of it that you would find pretty normal for most vehicle applications that have that little uh, horseshoe item that's on your windshield. It has that connection and we have our electrical connectors to it. It's pretty well packaged. Also inside here, we have cables, cables, cables. These are going to be fun here shortly. Uh, one of the things I really do super like about this, for those of you that are uncomfortable with wiring, this is super, super neat because it has these uh, wiring um, slide right into your fuse connectors. Makes life super, super easy. So we'll take a look and see how this works on the Humvee. If you have a Humvee, your fuse system is typically 24 volt, etc. And you may not have an option with this, but that's okay. We, you know, if we don't have the availability of using this, there's other things we can do. Super neat though, for those of you putting this in your pickup truck or van or car or whatever. So super awesome. On this particular container here, we also have a lot of cables. These are gonna be your actual uh, video cables that are going to connect. These are pretty popular anymore. This style uh, connector that slides in, a little micro four-way. So you've got these for your cameras. The cameras that I currently have on Humvee use the same type of little connection as you see here with these, uh, these four-way things. Um, we have adapters that help out with the different types of connections that we're going to use for putting it on the windshield, which is fantastic. We also have connections adapters for the cameras. So we're going to take a look at that. And again, our wiring this is all your, your wiring, built-in fuses, really high quality looking wiring components. A big feature about this, let's go ahead and tear this open, is that it comes with the cameras for your, your front and rear, but it also comes with a GPS piece. We'll get this mounted. Not sure how this is gonna work in a Humvee because it needs a clear view and our windshield's pretty flat, it would be like a Jeep. So, um, we're just gonna have to find out how that operates just attached to the windshield going forward, but that's a nice looking component. Uh, we have in here as well, pretty well packed stuff. Okay, yeah, got some nice uh, double stick. This is a bracket that allows the availability of connecting the camera. Looks like that's probably gonna be your backup camera. There's gonna be different ways of doing it. Uh, I'm going to try to mount my camera to the spare tire mount since that thing is blocking the view of everything. All right, so here's one of our cameras, and this is our mounting system, which you know would match up with this kind of screw attachment that we have right here. So that is a camera right there. And my guess would be this is the other camera. So short of the SD card, 
Looks like this comes with absolutely everything. Yep, so here's gonna be your other camera right here. This is gonna be our windshield camera. It has a microphone in it, and you have the availability of recording what's going on in the vehicle. Pretty helpful if you, uh, you know, have an accident or something and you wanna play back all of the sound. So uh, pretty neat stuff. Um, well packaged. Everything it looks like we need is in here except for the actual doing it and then the SD card. It says on here that uh, a class 10 FAT 3264G micro SD card is more compatible and recommended. So we're going to pick one of those up. The really, really, really good news is though, if you want to just get this thing fired up and giving you rear view action, you don't even need the SD card. So let's go ahead and get this thing going in the truck. Humvees don't come with a regular street version rear view mirror. So I installed a rear view mirror. And the way that I did mine is I actually uh, glued and screwed a cleat to it that would be a standard cleat normally that goes on a windshield. So that worked out real well. And even though this is pretty much backwards of the way it would normally be on a windshield, you can see I couldn't, I couldn't go from the up down. It's just too, too much stuff in the way. So far, this before I had the spare tire, this has worked reasonably well. So this is my intended location to install the T9 Pro. T9 Pro comes with a couple of options. You can actually loosen this and rotate this on this shaft, and there are other mounting options depending on your vehicle. They have a tech support you can contact to try to match up the right fit for your particular setup. Uh, in this case, obviously, this is all custom, and I don't have a, you know, a direct application. I guess maybe H1, uh, but basically what I'm gonna do here is slide this up on the bracket and uh, tighten it. Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's that's installing the, the mirror. Shield camera here has 30 degree adjustment of the camera position. And then that sticks to your window. You know, essentially the camera's gonna have to go something like so but let's go ahead and get that stuck in place. All right, we're gonna go ahead and peel off the magic protection. Get this, get this bad boy right up tight there. When you're mounting the rear camera, notice there's an arrow, up arrow. We want this camera essentially sticking out like right here. And the only way to do that is gonna to be to drill through this plate. A 5 16 hole is gonna be your perfect size. This is the guy we're gonna go with. We're gonna get this uh, adhesive torn off and then that gives me room here. If I wanna put some sheet metal screws, uh, I've got my wire coming off the camera, which is fantastic, but we're gonna to have to start going up and in. I'm gonna spare you the fun of all this uh, wiring and dirt in my eyeballs, and then go ahead and just get it routed up to the bulkhead, up into the uh, firewall in front of the truck. Next thing is to work on getting connections to it, the multi, multi, multi pin connection. It's the one that's gonna go right here on your mirror. This is just all the rough wiring for powering this thing up. I got our cable through. We have fuses in line here, and they're in there, which is good. So uh, we have to connect ignition on, 12 volt all the time, and uh, the backup camera. Everything else, and did I say it or not? Ground, boom. We are with our Lexar 64 gigabyte card. Gonna go with the contact side towards the front of the car, and the branded side of the card towards the rear of the car. Let's walk through the menus on this T9 Pro. So after you've put the SD card in, you're going to have to format it. So one of the very first things you're gonna do in here, and it's the very last thing on the menu, 
is the very first thing that you'll do when you put a new SD card in it. So what do we have? If we go in here under the gear setting, we can change the resolution from 1080 to 720. The time of the clip, we can make it one minute, three minutes, five minutes. We can tell it whether or not we want it to record sound. Reverse line switch, that is a red wire that's in the harness to the back camera. All you do is put that to your backup light. This one, you have the choice. You can, you can hook it up or not hook it up. Driving mode, we'll, we'll show you what that is in just a moment. Parking monitoring, this is awesome. Uh, you can set the level of impact that it wakes up and decides to record. It only records for 30 seconds in parking mode to avoid battery issues. All right, let's jump over here to general settings on this. Uh, so we have the movie mode, general settings, the beeping noise we hear, the volume that we're hearing, language that it's in, LCD power save, your protection level. This is your regular protection level whenever you're out um, cruising. You can change it to low, middle, high. Speed unit to read mile per hour. Remember, this thing has a GPS unit. It's going to give you speed while you're traveling as well. Uh, GPS time sync on, yes or no. Uh, time zone, you've got your clock settings. You can do a 24 hour clock or a 12 hour clock. You've got your date formats, how they set up. Time formatted, you know, 12 hours. Automatic rear view is where I have it set. That way it always stays in rear view all the time. And of course you can reset it and format the card. The driving mode I told you about. So if you hold your fingers on it, it goes into the driving mode. This will give you mile per hour and direction, and then you go right back. This red light in the corner indicates that it is currently recording, and it's going on the loop phase right now, where it records, 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 and when it completely fills up, it'll delete the last thing recorded, unless it's been locked. If you see this turn from red to yellow, it means that it is recording. There are a couple of ways it's going to record. Number one, uh, if there's a shock or a jar that indicates a potential accident or incident, that's going to turn yellow. It's going to start doing its thing. The other option that you have, do you see this padlock over here? If I select that, it will lock the file that's currently being recorded. It'll go into the database and that one will not be overwritten until I go in and pull the SD card, review it, delete it, whatever. Okay, so yellow means that you're recording and we can actually reach up here and start recording. So if you see something while you're out that you wanna capture, all you have to do is hit that button and it'll go into that mode. I can go back and I can stop that from locking and now it's just in regular record loop mode. All right, let's take a look at the menus that we have. Number one, up top we have either an auto or a manual set for the brightness of it, okay? We can set it in different areas. I like the automatic setting. It's working on that right now. Down below, the first one we have here is for the microphone that is in the front camera. This next button, really nifty. This changes our views. So what you're looking at here, this is the rear view, which is my garage door right now. And there's the front view, which is everything that's out here, okay? You can also change it to just the front view or just a rear view. Next button here is the little record button to stop it from its record mode, which is done here in the center. And now we can go into the separate items that are in it. This will record front files, rear files. Emergency video, this would be video that's triggered while the vehicle is turned off, doors slammed, or someone crashes into the vehicle, or if there's an incident while you're driving, it's gonna record what happens in these files. And then the photo file. Speaking of photo, look at this picture of a camera right here. I can actually take just a still shot of things that I see that are interesting to me. Yeah, here is our Auto Vox T9 Pro rear view camera. It is working like a champ. Getting very dark out here tonight, but the camera held up beautiful on the trail. If you look up there, see me wave my hand in it. It's really, really cool because I've got this giant spare tire in the way. And when you look out the rear view mirror, it turns out it's here. It's just the camera is looking right through it. I took the memory card and I plugged it into this adapter and just threw it right on the computer. In the folder, we have the front and rear camera. I have events that are triggered when the uh, G sensor picks something up. 
I have, this just says normal. So this is right here in my garage when I was first setting it up. I'm going to go through here and start playing we'll with these things. So this is when we were first playing around with it. There yeah, she is here. checking it out. So these are things that were picked up while we were on the trail yesterday. These events that are triggered by, you know, some sort of a jar or blow uh, are under the event file. And then I just have the regular files running. And, you know, the card runs and runs and runs, and then it deletes and rewrites unless you lock something in. Yeah, so here we were coming in last night. Picked up a good picture. So I've got the events, rear camera. Uh, here we go. There's the Bronco we were running with. And whenever I would, uh, <laughs> I'm eating lunch, here we are looking out the rear of the truck, going through the trails. I'm really excited to start looking through all this. Very, very happy with this product. Simple, really neat. So I'm going to get back in here and make a movie out of all this.